Louisiana has signed into law a bill that would mandate the Ten Commandments to be shown in all Louisiana classrooms starting in 2025. This seems legal. This seems constitutional. You know, I would say, I would say this seems like it's, it's in line with, uh, you know, uh, our, our First Amendment rights. A poster-sized display of the Ten Commandments shown in large, easily readable font must, is required to be in all public classrooms from kindergarten to state-funded universities. Cool. I hate my state. You probably should. It's Louisiana. Opponents question the law's constitutionality. I hate, I hate the news. I hate so-called impartial news. Opponents don't question the law's constitutionality. It is objectively unconstitutional. You know? You wouldn't do this with, like, uh, someone getting murdered or whatever. Like, uh, uh, prosecutors question the legality of the shooting. Like, no, just come on. Say it how it is. Proponents say the purpose of the measure is not solely religious, but that it, that, that it has historical significance. In the law's language, the Ten Commandments are described as foundational documents of our state and national government. Well, that's also unconstitutional. The displays, which will be paired with a four-paragraph context statement. Four paragraph?! Describing how the Ten Commandments were a prominent part of American public education for almost three centuries must be placed in classrooms by the start of 2025. Cool. The posters would be paid for through donations. What? Wait, so it's, a, it's mandatory, but it's being paid for through donations? How does that work? That, what? What, what stupid f workaround is this? Because having state funds pay for it would violate some existing law? Okay. Well, it's Louisiana. I'm sure they'll, they'll have no difficulty getting the, you know, the donations. Why are they even doing this? Because they're trying to rabble rouse and bait attention from the Supreme Court. The, a number of red states have been doing this for a time, doing obviously unconstitutional stuff so that in the hopes that it gets sent up to the Supreme Court and that the conservative Supreme Court will eventually say, yeah, that's okay. It wouldn't be the first time. Didn't, didn't the Supreme Court say that uh, state taxes had to be used to pay for private religious schooling in the state of Maine? Was it Maine that I'm remembering? The Supreme Court already ruled on that. Montana and yes. Was it Montana, not Maine? I thought I remembered it being Maine. Well, they both start with an M, so my mistake, I suppose. Maine also? Okay, both of them, whatever. In 1980, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that a similar Kentucky law was unconstitutional and violated the Establishment Clause of the U.S. Constitution, which says Congress can make no law respecting an establishment of religion. The High Court found that the law had no secular purpose, but rather served a plainly religious purpose. Are you guys ready for Clarence Thomas to rule on this and say, like, that he disagrees with this ruling as well? Because there's literally fucking Supreme Court jurisprudence on this specific issue. I think there should be a penalty for proposing unconstitutional laws. I unironically agree. If you pass a law that is unconstitutional, are you not in a way breaking the law in a legalistic sense? But there's no penalty for it. You can just, like, time after time, you can just throw unconstitutional laws out there, like, for, and it can take years for them to get revoked. No penalty. So many of the systems that we live under rely on the assumption that nobody in power is acting in bad faith. Like, the assumptions are all, oh, yeah, you know, even if we have our disagreements at a fundamental level, people want freedom and prosperity, and for that reason, we're all going to get along, and, like, no one's going to maliciously abuse the system over and over and over and over again. And it's like, that's just not true! People's rights were violated, man. You're getting sent to the box. We're putting you in the goddamn hole, Louisiana governor. What penalty should there be? The hole! The device! Yeah, bailiff, dig the hole. Right there in, like, the courtroom. Yeah, me and former, I've seen it. It's a rough time to be in a red state. It's a real rough time. The reliance on donations of religious symbols to classrooms has backfired before. Texas passed a similar bill, Louisiana, and someone donated a In God We Trust sign in Arabic that they uh, had to request be displayed. Cute. I love our shitty country. I love our shit-ass country. First Arabic numerals, now this. Wasn't there recently a poll asking American voters like, whether they think Arabic numerals should be taught in school, and something like 50% of them said no. I don't think we deserve a democracy. I'm kind of getting in line with the monarchists. Maybe what we need is, like, an ineffectual, incest-brain-ridden, like, water-skull dipshit. Like, I don't know, a, a, a taxing grain, and everyone just gets to run around and have, like, a f grand hunts in the local forest. I, I, I have no idea. What are we, like, what are we getting out of democracy? is what I'm asking you. Who would be king? The least qualified person, ideally. So you? Yeah, there we go. I'm guaranteeing my own uh, appointment. Anoint me. Also, those Arabic numerals, no voters, were majority Republican? Of course they were. 
3,600 respondents were asked that question. 2,000 voted no. 2,000 voted no. So that's like 60% of respondents said no. 72% of Republican supporting respondents said Arabic numerals should not be on the curriculum. I, you, you, you are being sent to the feudal serfdom, my friends. I'm very sorry. Republicans, your ass is out there farming wheat. Okay? You're, you're out there using a, 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 motor and, a motor and pestle to, like, make poultices to rub on the infectious wound of your youngest daughter after she trips in the forest. That is your life from now on, okay? Your, your primary concern will be making sure that your, your cows survive the winter. It's over for you. Go be a peasant. Speaking of shitty red states in the fall of the West, have you seen this map of all the states where Pornhub is going to be banned as of next month? Everyone excited for this to lead to, like, a huge whiplash? Uh, and a ton of independent Gooner voters in these states voting blue when they, like, go onto Pornhub one morning at 7.23 a.m. to get their morning junkin going, and they see they've been banned from it or whatever, or they have to, like, upload their driver's license info to get to it, and they're like, wait, who did this? They see it was Republicans, then they vote Democrat? I'm ready. Yeah, the Gooner revolt. This is gonna breathe new life into the Democratic Party in these states. They need to capitalize on it, okay? Get, get what's their names? Mia, is Mia Khalifa? Get her at like the local Democrat party uh, offices for, for party signups, okay? Get like, lean into it, man. Get them girls out there. They won't? Yeah, because they suck. I would. Wiz Khalifa. Get Wiz Khalifa out there. Is it Mia Khalifa? Don't pretend like you don't know. I'm sorry. I know the name of many like furry porn artists. I don't know the name of that many IRL porn artists. You've got like, what? Johnny Sins, Emma Stone, not Emma Stone? Am I thinking of a different Emma or perhaps a different Stone? See, that's how quickly I tripped. Riley Reed, thank you. Isn't Emma Stone a singer? You don't know her private life. I don't know. Clearly, I don't know. Is there another Emma? Emma Magnolia? I have never heard that bitch's name in my whole life. Stormy Daniels? Okay, that name I've heard, but not, not like as a porn star, but she's a prostitute, right? Or was? I don't know. Whatever. Emma Stone was in La La Land. I didn't see it. I haven't seen that porno. She is a porn star, I thought. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know celebrity. I don't know celebrity. I'm very sorry, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are we just naming porn stars? Yeah, put like chat. It's an impossible position for me because if I'm too good at naming porn stars, I get made fun of. If I'm too bad at naming porn stars, I get made fun of. There's no way out for me. Like I could be, there's no, the, the correct number of porn stars names to know was like, I guess three, because I knew one and that was too few. I knew two because of Johnny Sins. I needed three and that would have been the sweet spot where chat doesn't make fun of me.